I have never seen so many amethyst crystals in my life. This is insane. Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Robert Plays Minecraft. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You might be wondering why we're starting down here in the mines. Well, I have went gathering materials and I stumbled upon a lot of interesting things. One of which is this, but I forgot to hit record earlier, so here we are. I've also redecorated a little bit back home, but I'm gonna show you that once we get back. I am a little bit tired of mining and exploring, so we are gonna go back home soon. I just wanna get that uh, copper that I found, and uh, we're gonna go back and rebuild our roof and some other parts of the building. And then we're gonna try to find the end. I want to get an elytra. It's a must. I cannot walk anymore. I need to fly. So we are gonna get uh, the copper that I found and then we're heading back home to get ready to go to the end. And we finally changed that roof. It's uh, gonna oxidize because I don't have any honey. We we need to make a, a honey farm with the bees and all that. But I'm uh, I'm all set to go to to the fortress. At least find it. We don't necessarily need to get in the end. And um, another cool thing. I got uh, Bane of Arthropods 4, Sharpness 3, and Fortune 3. Ah, let's make a few. A few, two, three. Oh, we can make three. Exactly three. Nice. I'm gonna put one here. Uh, the end chest it can be accessed from anywhere. Like if I look in this one over here, I see the same content it has over here. So it's like a wireless um, chest. Just make sure you you break it with silk touch, because otherwise it's gonna reconvert back to obsidian. That way. Every time we use an eye of Ender, we have the chance to get it back or it can uh, explode and we lose it. Like that, that one exploded. But I want to introduce you to my iron farm. <laughs> the big pillars are not important, it's just uh, me fooling around. We don't need them. But down here, we got uh, a very long <laughs> staircase. Yeah, I've put uh, a lot of uh, anvils and we're getting bone meal created over there. And these 
are creating iron. Now, the farm is very simple. In principle. And I'm gonna explain how it works, but... Uh, first... Let me get some blocks. <laughs> glass. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, taking glass because it's um, safe to build around the farm. I won't risk it, nothing happening. Now, <laughs> the way this works. In every corner here, there are three villages. One there, one there. Well, three a group of three everywhere every now and then those zombies are getting pushed up I'm gonna see just like that and through that hole over there they get uh, they can see the villages and the villages can see them and uh, when a group of three or more villages are scared by a hostile monster they will spawn in their vicinity a golem to protect them and uh, this has like a 30 second cooldown they cannot spawn another one for 30 seconds and every time he's um, he's coming up he's gonna scare the zombie the villagers and they will uh, they will spawn a golem up here one for each uh, group of three. Two there, two there. And they fall down, they get uh, killed in the lava over there. And uh, the iron is getting collected as I showed you earlier. We have uh, quite, a, quite a bit of iron already. That over there it's um, a timer I'm not sure who made it maybe impulse I'm not sure so I uh, I'm not taking credit for it I found it online but technically those two hoppers are uh, facing each other they're transferring items from one to the other they're trying to push item that one is trying to push items into that one and that one is trying to push items into that one <laughs> but the way hoppers work when they have a, a dress stone connected to them they uh, they get blocked stopped in a way so only the other one it's uh, getting items so inside them there's a I think I put like 17 items, I need to change that number. But inside them it's a number of items that uh, are uh, transferring from one hopper to the other. And when they finish transferring to the hopper, they activate the comparator. Damn it, I couldn't remember the name of it. The comparator deactivates because it doesn't uh, recognize any content inside of the hopper and powers the redstone which powers the piston and pushes it the other way around and uh, every time the, the transfer it's looped around redstone block it's being pushed back and forth over there and now every time it's on this spot here it's powering that redstone and that redstone it has a repeater which is powering a, a line of redstone taken to both sides and ultimately leading to the zombie up here and uh, we got the redstone tower a redstone torch tower which uh, powers everything all the way up and Basically, it's a on and off switch. Whenever 
this turns off, the villages go down. Yeah? When the when the redstone is off, the villages are down. When the redstone is on, the villages are up. Basically that's how it works. And uh, they continuously spawn golems in order to protect the poor uh, villages. The reason we put it up in the air is because a group of villages will check in an area of 15, 14, 16, I don't know exactly. 16 blocks around them, in, in a sphere around them. And um, if they detect one of those go uh, golems in a 515 area, they have like wall vision, they can see through walls, they know uh, a golem is 15 blocks away, even if it's underground, in a in a hole underground. So we need to take the golems away from from the villages as fast as we can. So that's why we make them drop that far down, because we need to take them outside of that 16 area, so they could spawn another batch of golems because if we keep keep them here and have them uh, die up here somewhere we could make that killing machine down there somewhere up here but then uh, it will take time to die because as you can see they don't die instantly it takes like 10 seconds and uh, the next batch will not be able to spawn so Again, I don't know which is uh, the creator because uh, back when I first learned this, it was like four years ago, and I wasn't uh, I wasn't really looking for who's creating what. I was just looking random at different things, and uh, there's a lot of other people that do the same thing. I don't know who created it the first time one, but if anybody knows, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check who's the original creator as well. I know Il Mango do, does a lot of farms, but it might not be because a lot of the hermits do so many farms. But this one it's very very nice. And down there is just uh, a, a lava on top of uh, some open fence gates, crimson ones. They don't uh, warp. Sorry, not crimson. Warp ones because they don't burn. And uh, that kills the, the golems. And I put the alternating walls over there just for just the, for fun. I don't really like it to be honest. I think I'm gonna take it down eventually, but we're, we're gonna see. Now let's go hunting for the end fortress. We need to find the end fortress, so we are gonna. We are gonna go and try and uh, reach the end in this episode. Hopefully, just reach it. I don't want to kill the dragon. I just want to reach the fortress and uh, the end portal. Please, please. Wow. The view from here. Oh, look at that. My render distance is not at maximum. It's pretty high. But we could take it a bit further. I'm sorry for this, but uh, 
whenever you change it, it res restarts everywhere around you. That way. Uh, like this. Okay. Oh, hello. This is the village I took the villages from. This was here the whole time. I never saw it. Hey, Fox. Uh, we need to go catch some foxes sometime. Still that way. This place, look at that. Wow. This view, it's insane. My god, I want to get some uh, snow from the end. It's powdered snow. There's no, yes. Okay. Oh, look at that, so pretty. My god, this is a very strange village. Is that a netway? I think it is. The green coat, yes. these forests but it's too many deep deep valleys like that and they they break the villages it would be cool if they would uh, not break and adapt them to the, to the environment but they break <laughs> unfortunately they break what is that The Enderman eyes are creepy. And there is a creeper, so we're not staying there, but wow. What? The lava is starting a, a fire in the forest. Oh, there's another beehive somewhere close. I'm gonna sleep and then find the bees. There it is. Come on. Get back in your...
Yeah, go inside. Did he want in? I think he did. Nice. Hopefully we got at least two bees in all those hives. Still going that way. It broke. Well, this is going uh, very slow. I don't understand how far away can this be. We've uh, traveled quite far. And I think it's still not there yet. <laughs> Oh, let's get some kelp if I'm here. We need kelp. What is that? Do you see that? Oh my god. Is that a glitch? It's not. That's an actual hole in the... In the mountain. Wow. I want to make my base there. What? Oh, it goes down. It goes down, it goes down. Amazing. Then we, we need to dig. This is it. This is it. Smithing template. Another one. Piercing. No black power. That's not too bad. Where is he? God, it's an entire herd of them. Wow. Okay. Did you calm down now? Respiration 2. Enchanted golden apple. That's good. Lure 3. I already have it, so we're not gonna take it. And I'm gonna leave. A few of the blocks here. the pearl. Who knows, maybe we need it. Another... Oh, another library. Okay.
Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Should we destroy? Yeah. There is absolutely no, no pearl on any of them. And time for the portal. <laughs> one second, one second. Yeah, it would be a good idea to leave my armor here. And we're gonna take the pickaxe and the sword. We could replace them, so it's fine. We could replace the others, but I cannot be asked to level up that much. One more of these. Boom! Every time I see that portal, it's trippy because it's moving with your uh, mouse. <laughs> okay, in we go. I'm scared of this, but uh... <sighs> here we go. Oh my god, we're far away. Shoot me, please. Okay. Oh, why is the box over there? Hello. <laughs> well, we got one. But um, it's time to go back home, build the nether portal. Connect these two places, and uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go get a bow so we could fight the Ender Dragon. But that will have to wait until the next episode because today we have a lot to cover, anyways, and we don't have time for for a dragon fight. <laughs> that would that would take a lot. I'm not uh, I'm not the best fighter. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> but in the next one, I plan on defeating the dragon. Yes, yes and uh, probably, hopefully, find an end city and uh, get an elytra. Oh, I, I want an elytra so bad. And shulker boxes as well, but elytra. <laughs> that will be it for this episode. I really, really hope you're enjoying and I'm thanking you so much for watching. If you do enjoy it, please consider giving a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, all the best.